well, Jeremy, it must have been about 10 years ago that we were sitting um, in this garage and I was actually um, quite in a different capacity back then. You were a producer, producer of the... Uh... <laughs> Court of Public Opinion on Channel 44. Welcome back to the garage. That's right. Oh, it's so good to be here. It has not changed one single bit. Oh, I've added a few things because being an inveterate kind of collector, I, I have a space here. And if I see a small space, it has to be filled. It's a work in progress and will be probably till I die. Oh, absolutely. And look, I don't think I've... Um, ever seen anything quite like this and I don't think I will no. ever see anything no. quite like this again. <laughs> Everything in this place has been thrown away at least three times by somebody, <laughs> including me. Uh, but it usually ends up at auction. The thing about it is that the auction people are terribly interested in my health because they know that when I die, it's all coming back and they are scared stiff of that. <laughs> They don't want that. Well, so I'm not helping no. them with the wine right now, am I? <laughs> uh, I think wine uh, keeps you alive. It's, oh, absolutely. It's biblical, isn't it? Take a little wine, it's good for your digestion or stomach or heart or something. That's certainly something I like to tell myself. Oh, <laughs> God, yes. Court of public opinion. There's a lot of opinions and wines. Yes, yes. Maybe well, so. A couple of months ago, we had a chat uh, on your radio program. And, yes. And... Um, we spoke about this new project that I'm doing uh, called Wine Chick. The Wine where, Chick. <laughs> where I just, uh, you know, go around Australia tasting wines and uh, talking about it and uh, trying to educate people about the industry and uh, try and motivate people to find Good. the wine that they like to drink. And you told me the wine that you like to drink doesn't cost you any more than $5 a bottle mm, and mm, that you mm, could mm. not tell a difference between a more expensive wine if it was put in front of you. So That's true. I thought I'd put a couple in front of you and uh, see what, um, what you can So make what of have it. you set up here? You've set up wines of various quality or various so, prices? So I've gone, um, I've gone with the price range category because we, we were talking specifically about a price range. So you said, uh, I like a $5 wine. And I said, look, you know, I reckon you'd be able to tell a difference if it was $5 or $60. And obviously, you know, quality goes with the price, yes. so the higher the price, uh, presumably uh, the quality would go up as well. So what I've set up is I've mm. got um, three wines right there. They're all the same variety, so th there is no difference in terms of what grape is used to make mm -hmm. these wines. Mm -hmm. um, so they're all Australian? They're all Australian, they're all the same variety, yeah. and uh, they even all come from the same region. Right. The only difference being is one of them costs $5. Yes. There's another one $20 mm -hmm. and another one around about $60. So... Mm -hmm. And you can tell the difference? I definitely can. Oh. I can. And in fact, I've got the, you know, the nice $60 one in my glass now because, well, All frankly, right. I, I don't want to drink the other ones because I'm being a bit <laughs> snobbish today. <laughs> well, that's the word. That's the, uh, I think with art... And with wine, the whole thing is so wide open to tomfoolery and snobbery. Um, people buy an artist, or they buy a winemaker, hmm. or they buy the label. Hmm. Uh, they buy the sizzle, they don't buy the steak. I think it's far better to buy the steak. It is true to an extent, but at the same time, um, the processes uh, that go into making a premium sort of, you know, your $50, $60 uh, wine are far more um, extensive, far more sort of, there's more finesse yeah. in, in the way that they produce it um, than something that's, say, you know, five bucks. And, um, you know, a $5 wine, I wouldn't even expect to go into barrels um, or be aged. I, I, I'd expect it to just be, you know, fermented in a stainless steel tank and then just bottled out of the tank, ready but for drinking. What about the stories that I hear, maybe apocryphal, maybe, I don't know, I'm not a winemaker, but um, that when there's a, a, a glut or an abundance of some really good wine that would be bottled and sold for 25 bucks a bottle, mm. uh, the surplus that they can't sell or don't feel that there's the market for, they put into clean skins. Now, is that true or not? Yeah, 
It does happen. It so does. you can get for five dollars a really good bottle of wine. You absolutely can. <laughs> yes, that is true. <laughs> you uh, with clean skins, though, Jeremy. You you've kind of got to know what you're buying. So. Um, it's not a matter of going down to Den Murphy's and selecting a box of clean skins. Um, well, that's I what I do. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this is what I'm trying to tell you not to do. <laughs> All right. Well, the one that I, I really like is, it's not even called wine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now you have me worried. <laughs> well, it, it's called soft red. Soft red. There's a subject of wine came up on the program, radio program a lot. And every time I would say... Uh, in a self-effacing way, I, I, I go into Dan Murphy's and I buy a clean skin, it's called Soft Red. And I did that to my own chagrin because when I used to go in a couple of days later, it's all sold out. <laughs> so I didn't, I learned, don't mention it. <laughs> don't mention the Soft Red. No, I thought I had a bottle of it around here somewhere. I must show you later. When you look at wine and when you, you're drinking wine, is there specific things that you like? That wine to have, you know. This is part of the snobbery, I think. You know, body and aftertaste and nutmeg and uh, <laughs> chipmunk <laughs> droppings. I can, I can taste all these <laughs> wonderful things. Uh, I just like sipping. I, I fill my glass generously, and so I. So a bit I, more than what I've done. Well, here. because when I, by the time I get to, from the house to here, the glass is empty. So I, I have to have <laughs> provisions. And as you walk around this property, you'll always find glasses in the garden because they sort of get... I actually should put bottles in the garden. Yes. Because as I move around, you know... That would be refill, a great idea. Yeah, <laughs> filling, <laughs> filling stations. <laughs> All right, well... Right, now... So... They uh, look good. I mean, they look terrific. Two of them certainly are quite uh, good wines. One of them not so much. But uh, okay. let's see, um, I guess... Perhaps start left to right, right to left, whichever way you want to go. Oh, well, and maybe well, take a sip and tell me right. what you think about each one. And I'll start with this one closest to me. Yeah. Now, if I was a wine snob, I would sniff it and I would swirl it in the glass to see its viscosity, I think. Is that what is it called? Viscosity? Yep, yeah. yep. But, you know. What do you think? Thinking, thinking. <laughs> Fine. It's a little tiny bit sharp. Mm -hmm. It's definitely not soft red. <laughs> <laughs> Can she you guess says, the variety? She says, this one I've given him is wine, the soft red. Is, I don't know. I don't know. I like soft red. Mm. No, I, I should stop saying that because I'll go down there and it'll be sold out again. Drinkable? Yes. All right. Cool. Uh, now, well, just go this one. Ah. Uh, Sometimes when I go to a, a bar or a restaurant, I will say, uh, what do you use for house? Mm -hmm. And they'll tell me, oh, Oxford Landing, or they'll yep. say something else. Um, and it usually costs about $8 a glass. Mm -hmm. And by my reckoning, going down to Dan Murphy's, I can get two bottles for $8. And of your and, soft red. And, and, of soft red. <laughs> and have change. So, now, I haven't tried this yet, have I? No, you haven't. So, yeah. give it a swirl. Give it a smell. Let me know what you think. Now, that's definitely a different sort of um, bouquet. Hmm. Hmm. Is that the word? Yeah. Hmm. So. Now, that is smoother. Okay. That's much smoother. Yep. But I'd, I'd want to do a deal. Mm-hmm. On the bottle, I'd say, yes, it's very nice, but it's not worth, if you're trying to tell me this is worth more than $5? Well, well, we don't know. We don't know, all right. We don't know. We will do a reveal, will we? Yes, we'll do a reveal. <laughs> so we've got the three bottles uh, right behind us, just there. Um, and mm. they're placed in the same order as the glasses. So, you know, the, the first, second and third. Uh, so far, you like the second one better? Yes. Okay. That definitely has a... a, a a very nice aftertaste. It's much smoother on the palate. Yeah. Smoother on the tongue. Yep. Mm. All right. Okay. Lucky number three. Lucky number three. <laughs> mm. 
pretentious. That one's pretentious. Mm. Why so? It's trying too hard. It's trying too hard. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's so trying to the say... The wine is trying too hard. It's trying to say... Uh, <laughs> Would I'm you drink it, though? I'm worth $60 a bottle. <laughs> so you reckon that is the $60 uh, wine, that one you got there? I must say, though, it's very nice. Mm -hmm. But is it worth $60 a bottle? I don't know which is which. I've got no idea. Mm -hmm. But if, 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 you were, if you were saying to me, uh, the f I would think... Do you want me to go through it now? Yeah, go for it. I think uh, that is the $5... The first one, yeah. ...bottle. And I think that is probably the $20 bottle. Mm -hmm. And that's the $60 bottle. OK. But I could be convinced that that was the 60 and this was the... 20. 20. But... So you, you know. can tell the difference. Yes, and it's all predicated, <laughs> isn't it? I said, you, you really can't tell the difference. But most of us don't actually uh, have a glass of wine and then have the opportunity to compare it with something else. Hmm. Because something is hot or cold or sweet or sour or better or worse by comparison. Most of us don't get to do the comparison thing. I suppose people have a favourite wine. Hmm. That they drink. Yeah. Let's say if price wasn't the differentiating factor, which one would Why you... Why am I holding the one that I think is the most expensive? Exactly. I've got to stop that. Exactly. Ah. <laughs> so if price was not um, the question, which one would you prefer to drink? I with? would prefer number two. Number two. All right. Shall we do the whole grand reveal? Mm -hmm. I'll pop that down here. These are the bottles in the brown so paper these are, bags. Yeah, they're the bottles in the brown paper bags. And so the number one, the one that you said was a little bit too sharp, and would you say that's your least favourite? I would say that would be... If you, were, if you were saying in terms of quality and taste, I would say that is the least quality. Mm -hmm. You'd still drink it, though. Yes. <laughs> All right. It's the Pope at Catholic. Well, it is the $5 bottle. Oh, it's, uh, OK. It's a wine called Gossip. Gossip. And before I tell you which wine it is, um, so I told you they're all same variety. Do yes. you know uh, what? Do you I, want to have I a guess what variety it could be? Oh, is it a Merlot? No, no, it's actually um, it's a Shiraz. Okay. Uh, I thought you know Australian Shiraz is quite famous, so yep. I thought what a better variety to. Um, no, no, I agree. Shiraz is uh, terrific. Um, it's interesting that it's a Persian word, isn't mm. it? Oh, oh, I think there's a there's a um, place um, in Persia, in Persia, which you know, is Iran. Which is, yeah, now. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I think oh, it's it's a city called Shiraz. So there's actually a little bit of controversy about uh, where Shiraz comes from, whether yes. it comes from that place or the French seem to claim that Shiraz or well, Syrah, how they call it, <laughs> actually comes from France. But yeah. I think, uh, to be honest, it's going back so many years. It's virtually. I, Impossible well, to I prove. know, but I, it was interesting that you could grow grapes in desert conditions mm, mm, like that. Mm. But I would stick to uh, Victorian or South Australian mm, mm. Uh, Shiraz. I wouldn't go to the. Well, I wouldn't go to Iran because you might have a bit of trouble getting back. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one says um, southeastern Australia. So wine of Australia, southeastern Australia. So it doesn't actually specify a region. Of its no, own? No, no, no. So generally that means that it's a blend from, let's say, different vineyards in southeastern Australia. And certainly $5 is a, a good price for a very drinkable wine. As I said, it's a little bit sharp, but it certainly is very drinkable. It's quite like uh, soft red, but it's a little heavier than soft red. Right, it's a bit sharper, yeah. yeah I, 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 I presume I, soft red would be a blend of a kind oh. where <laughs> they would... Um, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not just use straight Shiraz. Shiraz is pretty full on as it is. Yes. Also, you've got to understand, being you know, a $5 bottle, it's uh, not been aged. It's uh, 2020 uh, vintage. Mm. So, uh, like I was telling you before, it would have been put in uh, stainless steel tanks, yes, went that's through fine. fermentation that's and fine. bottled. It's like, like you go and buy a mini moak. So, the second one, and um, you're actually quite... 
right. It is the softest and the smoothest one of the lot. Very and nice. Yes. That is the $60 bottle. So oh, that okay. uh, it's a wine um, called uh, the Gam, and it's a Shiraz from McLaren Vale. Um, it's it's called 2000 what? Gam. Gam. Yeah. So G A. Oh, I would change that name. <laughs> I think they want something a little bit more glam, glam. than Gam. We can write but, to them and offer but, a suggestion. Yes, um, but congratulations. That is a very, very nice wine. So it's a, it's a wine. It's 2009 vintage. I thought you were going to say it's $2,009. No, no, it's 2009 <laughs> vintage. So it's had a little bit of age. So a lot of those sharp notes yeah. have uh, sort of fallen off and uh, it's become a really smooth, yeah. nice drinking If wine. you aged the $5 bottle, would that come up better? Uh, I would not say uh, I would not think so because uh, mm. for that mm. to age quite nicely, it needs to um, go through the barrel, and uh, because that wine hasn't gone through the barrel, it will just gradually turn no. into pretty much vinegar. So. But if I if I drank that sort of wine, I'd be very spoiled. <laughs> I, you I, are I, very spoiled, Jeremy. Look at your garage with. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, as I said. Everything in the whole garage has been thrown away by somebody at least three times. So I, I'm, I'm a rescuer. And, I was talking more about investor. the cars. Oh, <laughs> oh that. <laughs> yes. yes. So this one. So this one is Mr. Riggs, uh, the gaffer. It's also Shiraz from McLaren Vale. So that's Mr. the one Riggs. that you said was um, more pretentious. And you actually said that it's probably... The more expensive yes. one, the $60 yes. one. So perhaps, Jeremy, this is a very good... Um, medium. Medium wine for you because yeah. you did give yeah. it the thumbs up of being the most up there. So. Yep. But I guess there are a whole lot of interesting little wineries yeah. out there. Yeah, oh, absolutely. That you wouldn't really come across because they wouldn't produce a huge amount. Oh, no, no, they wouldn't. And especially when, you, when it comes to the premium wines, you've got to uh, take that into account. Uh, a part of the whole price range yeah. um, depends on how much of that wine is available on the market. And so you create a shortage. You would know, you know, even with some of the luxury cars and uh, old vintage cars, there might be one or two in Australia. And, uh, yes, that's true. The person no, who wants true. to... Mm buy it will pay the much higher price yes. um, and I suppose that's similar to rarity and scarcity all well, right you're... well do you reckon I've convinced you to at least sometimes buy a $20 bottle oh yes you have given yes, it's, yes, uh, yes. it's the most pretentious one yes <laughs> but... but so let me get it right again the one I'm drinking now is the most expensive one so that was the, and this uh, the one, one that was here, in the middle which I yes. said was um, trying too hard yes that's the $20 correct. bottle. correct Yes. Well, I think the $20 bottle would be, would be good. Mm. See, I will drink to that. I think it's... Um, my, my job here is done. To be honest, all of those mm. people can go out and uh, yes. buy all the soft red because Jeremy doesn't need it anymore. Yep, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. All right. <laughs> Lovely to see you, Anna. All the best.